Back here at home, a dangerous disease discovered during a routine checkup. The mother of nine-month-old Benjamin Voss says she now has a warning for other parents. The baby boy has a brain tumor that spread to his spine. As his mother prepares for what's likely inevitable, she wants other first-time parents to be more assertive when it comes to doctor's visits. The night team's Patty Santos explains. He was always smiling, laughing. <laughs> But starting at around seven to eight months, Benjamin Voss was constantly crying and irritable. Doctors and nurses at different visits and hospitals told the first time mom it was normal. We had taken him to the doctor and everyone just said it was a virus, that he was teething and that's why he was crying and uncomfortable. But at his nine month checkup, doctors made the discovery. His head was the size of a 20 month old. It was a pendymoma a rare type of brain and spinal tumor that most often occurs in infants and kids, according to stjude.org. It's the third most common type of brain tumor in children. They did say this is one of the worst cases that they've seen because it spreads so fast, so rapidly. He's had three surgeries in two weeks to He's ease so his young. pain. When a baby cries or when a baby's uncomfortable, your first thought isn't, oh, it's cancer. So it's kind of, you know, shocking and surreal to me. <laughs> Serena Voss hasn't left his side, preparing for what's next. He's only nine months, so he didn't get to experience a lot. You know, he didn't, you know, his first day of school, he never even got to crawl, even say mama. There's no telling if knowing earlier could have changed the outcome, but Voss wants to advocate for other moms and babies. Just be adamant about, you know, getting scans, you know, making sure every single little thing is fine. Not, oh, I don't think we should worry about this, or it seems normal, you need to know. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News. And tonight, Benjamin Voss is home for hospice care. To follow his journey and to find out more about the condition, you can head to our website at ksat.com.